Hi, tramps. I'm in the lab again, and um, hi, hello. And um, I'm taking apart my toaster because it's broken. I've actually managed to fix it. There was a disengagement of the spring mechanism, and I thought, while I'm here, why don't I just probe it to see, you know, just how dangerous toasters really are. So what I've got here, if you can see, is a uh, an electrode probe which is uh, currently in contact with the start of the heating element connected to a voltmeter and I have my other probe here. Now I'm going to switch the toaster on and I'm going to show you what happens if you probe these heating elements. So let's just switch the thing on. So we'll do that. So this toaster has got various live bits now. Now just in case you're wondering, in my lab I do have RCD protection so if I do shock myself, um, all of the power goes out and hopefully I don't die. Anyway, so what I'm going to do, I've got an electrician screwdriver here because I don't trust my, my um, hands going in the wrong way. I'm going to turn it on. You can hear it's on. Okay, right. So we're going to get our probe and I'm going to touch it to the other side, which is earth. And there you go. 174 volts at a pretty good current because obviously it's a heating element. Now before I burn my probe out, let's just turn it off. So that's why you don't go sticking a knife into a toaster that's currently heating. Because those elements that you can see there are completely unshielded and will shock your tits off.